Hey everyone, I'm Jordan with PDQ.com. Uh, we're continuing our PowerShell series. Uh, as you can probably tell from the thumbnail, I still haven't given that donut and I'm not gonna. He's not the boss of me. He can't make me do anything I don't want to. Uh, with that out of the way, we've got the uh, housekeeping out of the way. Let's move on to talking about modules. Uh, normally, if you're researching things in PowerShell, you might find some commands out there that you don't recognize or aren't on your machine. And this is just a quick way to find out if you have them or how you can get them and just kind of control modules on your environment. Uh, so the first command is just pretty simple, just get module. This is going to tell you all of the modules that you have on your machine that are currently running, uh, that are installed and, and loaded. Uh, if you want to see ones that are technically installed but not loaded, so you won't be able to, by default, run the commands, you can do get module with list available. And this is going to grab all of them. With these ones, generally, if you start a command and type in an auto-type that one, it's going to go and load the module for you. Not all the time, but it's, it's going to work pretty much all the time. And, and that, that's just kind of a way to see these ones aren't technically running out of the gate, but you can get them to work. Uh, if you want to see where your modules are stored, it's just the environment PS module path. You can see here it's uh, Windows PowerShell modules and uh, at the end of the documents as well. So we're, we, these are the default ones. If you are building your own modules or you, you build your own command list in your, in your environment, you're going to want to, wherever those are located, wherever the, for the import, you're gonna to want to add that to your PS module path. Uh, definitely not just come in here and do plus equals on the variable. That's gonna add it for that session, but not in the future. You're definitely gonna to wanna to make that a permanent addition uh, to that variable. Uh, we have a PowerShell video about messing with, with those. Get that updated if you need to. All right, so another one, uh, we're just gonna go through and see one that, make sure that is installed. Uh, pester, uh, we're going to, it is installed, but it's not running yet. We're going to do import module and then run pester. And that's going to come in and import that one. So all the pester commands, which is testing for those that are unfamiliar, will run for you uh, right there. Uh, another one we can come in here, we're going to say, we're just going to look for, we'll say Jira, which is just a module that I'm using because I tend to use this at work a lot. And that one is unable to resolve the source. And this would basically come in here. We have uh, Jira PS, the PS gallery. Uh, we have the package source as super cool repository. <laughs> I don't know if someone did that to screw with me, but that's fantastic. Uh, what this one's going to do basically is if the module is not installed, you can go look at a specific repository, uh, like at the, the PowerShell galleries where there's going to be just tons. You can find that one. You, once you find it, you can just pipe that to install. And then after the install, you are still going to import. And when you do this, you may get a pop-up saying that there's an error or anything. And that's just because the commands that use this to set the repository, to update all that, uh, those, those commands are, are, I believe it uses NuGet, which has to be at a certain version. So you're gonna have to update that if it's not and allow permission. So you might get a pop-up the first time, or you can go in and you can make a NuGet a trusted source. And you can see it just went down there and installed Jira. Now I could go through and import that one, just like the other ones, and it's gonna work. Uh, just fine. If you want to see, oop, that one didn't run at all. I love to run F8. This one's all the package package providers. So in this one, I believe we're going to have, yeah, new get PowerShell get programs. These are the pr providers that we use to install. Uh, but if you're using the PowerShell gallery, I'm pretty sure it's using the new get one, which is one we have the install package provider, new get. That's going to remove the guesswork and the pop-up for you on that one. Uh, that one should go quick because I just installed it. All right, and so the last one we're gonna look at is basically what repositories do we have? We talked about adding different paths, which ones are trusted. We're gonna run just git ps repository. You can see we have the test one, which we trust. That seems reasonable. And the ps gallery that said untrusted. As untrusted means you're gonna to have to allow that one every time. Um, I think that's probably safe just to be, before you install, you wanna make sure it's trusted. If you do trust everything's in there, you can set the ps repository for the PS gallery and set the policy to trusted, and it's not gonna ask anymore, it's just gonna run. Uh, but to give you an idea, and the, or here we have that one, the git PS repository for the PS gallery, and then we have the set, and we set the installation policy as trusted right there. And um, I don't have that one there, I'm probably not gonna change that one because we use this for webcast a lot, I don't wanna mess with that. And that's just basically, it's, it's gonna remove a lot of the questions. If you wanna install one, you just know what the name it is, just, find module, imp install module, import module, and you should be good to go. So if you're doing some research, you're finding some commands that don't seem to be working on your machine, 
Uh, you just need to get that module, get it installed. Just follow these steps and you should be good to go. For PDQ.com, I'm Jordan.